my dear followers you're welcome to my youtube channel i'm back with the grammar lesson voice change though i have already discussed on this topic today i will discuss boys with may help and other verbs look at this here may may help and other verbs here is the rule after these verbs look at this verb here may help was c after this verb in the case of active voice we have to use a where or during infinitive that means when in a sentence uh, in a sentence contains these verb may help was or see after this zero or where infinitive is used look at this here nusaiba look at this the first example is nusaiba did not help jarifa save money look at this here is a help save it's also a verb and the base form of the verb or zero infinitive infinitive after this make help was and see after these verbs where or zero infinitive is used here nusaiba did not help jaifa save money this is an active voice here active and the next one i transform it or i transform this active to passive here is jaifa was not helped as this sentence is a past indefinite tense or past tense past tense so jaifa the object of the active voice is jaifa here is the subject jaifa plus passive auxiliary here passive auxiliary is auxiliary as it is not so here is not also and help plus v three of the verb plus two plus v one or base form of the verb here nusaiba did not help jarifa save money we know about in the case of may help was and see it contains in a sentence and the sentence is active voice then after this verb uh, another verb is a zero infinitive or bare infinitive but in the case of passive look at this but the sentence is passive when the sentence is passive but in the case of passive to precede the base form of the verb so as save is the base form of the verb base or uh, zero infinitive so here precedes to before the base form of the verb plus as is the others here is money and look at the next example here is the bird made the winds blow this sentence also a past tense so here made make the bird made the winds blow in the case of passive winds object here is subject plus as the winds is a plural form we need a plural verb auxiliary verb here is passive auxiliary plus made which we form plus as we need in the passive sense to here is to to precedes the gerund infinitive here plus 
v1 or 0 infinity for uh, base form of the verb of the verb and after this the door the verb so dear followers if you see in a sentence make help and other uh, uh, make help was and see in a sentence uh, these verbs in a sentence then as an active voice it is after this verb main verb must be in a zero infinitive and in the sense of or in the case of passive form uh, precedes the main verb or base form of the verb or zero infinitive to sets so dear followers uh, now the next one now boys with let here is boys with let look at this here the structure of active sentence or active voice let plus object plus bare infinitive we know about bare infinitive, bare infinitive plus object plus others uh, if other person if other person exists so example is let me do it here this is an active sentence so here st late plus object plus bare infinitive do plus another object object this is the first object and this is the second object so in the case of passive the structure is late plus second object plus b plus b3 form of the zero infinitive or b3 form of the base form or password form form of the verb plus by plus first object here in the sentence we find here late plus this is the second object object plus b plus b3 form of the zero infinitive here is b3 form of the zero infinitive plus by plus first object object while uh, the sentence starts with the late by following this rule we can make active to passive so now here is an another example let the word be finished by him um, i think it's a active sentence right is it active no dear followers it's passive sentence right so now by following this rule i will make this or i will transform this sentence into active here is as it follows this rule we have to convert it or we have to tra uh, transform it into this rule so ladies first make that object here the second object so and the first object late he or object is him let him then bear infinitive let him finish finish structure late plus first object plus zero infinitive plus second object 
as it will be the work or second object here is let me finish the work this sentence this sentence follows this rule and i follow this rule to uh, transform this act uh, passive to active so dear followers i hope you are clear when we see or how you see in a sample starts with the late then we have to make or we have to transform active into pa active to passive by this way so the next step is uh, the next discussion is now in most of the cases when we transform active to passive in most of the cases as a preposition we use by but sometimes or some cases it's exceptional uh, so look at this note preposition by doesn't take a few verbs in the case of passive that that means some verbs doesn't uh, doesn't take preposition as a preposition by so according to verb we have to use other some prepositions according to verb to verb we have to use other some people other some prepositions such as known to we know about no here is known to no takes to after the past person form of the verb please wait if it means a person then we have to use it please wait it means think please add annoyed with in the case of person annoyed at in the case of think shocked at surprised at seized with seized with relieved of made up of filled with these are the uh, difference or these are the different verbs those take a uh, take other prepositions in the passive sense or in the passive sentence look at this example here panic is the writer it is an active voice now i am going to transform it as a passive so the writer the writer as the sentence is past infinitive tense we need a passive auxiliary the writer was ceased as ceased take with so here the preposition with is used with the writer was seized with panic panic this is the correct transformation the other is i know the man here is the man the man as it is a present tense i know the man the man is known to objective cases me so the passive sentence is the man is known to me my dear followers these verbs are the important are the most important because this is the uh, different sort of verbs in the most of the cases we use by as a preposition in the passive sense but some cases we don't use by because some verbs doesn't take or some verbs don't take people as a preposition by except this they take this sort of preposition 
So, the followers, I think uh, this lesson uh, will be beneficial to you. So, that's all for the time being. Allah bless.